Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Tarot Quickie. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, I have my Psychic Tarot for the heart. We're going to pull one of these. This one didn't want to go back in, so I feel like it wants to come out. We have Opportunity Beckons, right? So this is the Four of Cups. Opportunity Beckons. Something's calling you. Something's presenting itself to you. The signs are there. There's something for you to see. There's something that's... It's calling you. We also have the infinity sign here, which right here, which represents individual empowerment and everlasting love. Okay, we have our Lenormand. So we're going to pull one of these. Whoops. Let's go with this one. We have the switch. All right. And that represents, it's like, don't be beat down by a situation, but it's like taking control of a situation or cutting out what is negative, right? Okay, so let's get the Psychic Tarot. We have the Third Eye Chakra. And that represents your intuition and your inner guidance. Let's get a Starseed Tarot. These are really big cards. I almost feel like these two, so let's just roll with it. We have the great wheel, so obviously that's the wheel, which represents change. And then we have the five of orbs, so that's an interesting one. I don't think I've seen that one. Five of orbs. So, five of pentacles. Interesting. I'm not. I'm trying to figure out what what is this here? Is it the head? Somebody's facing down. I'm not sure what that is. Or is that per, is it a person carrying something? I'm not sure. Very interesting. All right. Interesting. Something to think about, right? <laughs> um, that's just definitely making me think about it. All right. Um, standing out from the crowd, right? Something different, something to think about. Maybe this opportunity that comes is presenting itself to you, but it's something that's so different from before, right? Um, it's something that's so different and it makes you think twice about it, right? Think twice about it. All right, let's get some tarot. But you, but you know, I don't know. The third I I feel like that's it's that inner guidance in that direction that you may be pulled towards something that's completely different than what you were doing or thinking before. New, a talk about new, right? The fool, new beginnings, new starts, zero. Orbs. No, you know what? Orbs is swords. I want to say orbs is swords in that deck. Because the crystals is pentacles swords i'm still trying to learn this deck i've had it for a really long time but i haven't been able to connect to it so i'm just trying to bring it back out and i'm almost positive the five of orbs is the five of swords but that's the great thing about tarot is is that you know it, it doesn't have to be a particular way right it just caught, the image really caught my eye. The image really, I'm not sure what the image is, but it really caught my eye and it, it made me think and it's intriguing and it's different and I feel like that's the energy, especially with that being with the great wheel, which is change, right? Seeing things differently, seeing things a new way. We have the ace of swords, right? New beginnings, new starts. New way of thinking, exactly. Temperance. 
balance, patient, Sagittarius. Um, we have the gold and then the silver. Balancing between the two, we have the fire and we have the water. That there may be something presented to you that is totally out of the norm. And I feel like it's not going to the old way of thinking, and but kind of pulling your way out of that because this is an opportunity that may change everything for you. And to really listen to that inner voice as, is this pushing you? Is this wanting you to explore something? Is it wanting you to try something different? With the Fool card being there, uh, the Fool can represent being silly, being crazy, doing something out of the ordinary, right? Because the Fool is the jester, and the jester is somebody who's, you know, um, just totally different. And it's taking that leap of faith trying something different and I feel like today or very soon there's going to be an opportunity that comes in for you that will make you question things that will be something totally out of the ordinary but I feel like just being able to explore that opportunity it doesn't mean that you have to do it it doesn't mean that you have to you know start pursuing things let going things I just feel like sometimes we have those questions or we have those instances or those occasions where it's like, wow, that really made me think. Bottom of the deck, I don't usually do that um, for the quickies, but we have the Empress and I feel like that's how we learn and that's how we grow, right? Is we we're presented with opportunities that are out of the ordinary, but it's like, how do we handle that? How do we deal with that? Do we explore it? Do we shun it? Do we move away from it? Or do we ask questions? I was just having that image of, I have my horse and him and I, I've had him for three years, over three years, and we've had our, we each have our trust issues. He has his trust issues with me, I have his, my trust issues with him. But he used to, if he saw something that was different, he would be afraid of it and he would spook from it and he would want to turn and run. But now we have that trust where we, where he wants to explore it. He, I let him explore it at his own pace. We slowly get closer to it. He wants to sniff it. He wants to see what it was. Where before he wanted to run from it, but now he's he doesn't run from it. That he likes to explore and he's become very inquisitive. So I feel like that's this situation here. Is that maybe it was something in the past that you used to run from, that you used to shun, or you used to put those blinders on. But now you're in that energy of let me explore it. Let me see. What is this? Let me test it. Let me try it. You know, let me see what this is before I make a decision on what it is that I want to do. And I feel like that really brings into a, a large growth opportunity here for you. And I feel that's how we grow and we learn as people and our lives become more enriched because we're, we're exploring and trying different things. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.